Hi, Dave Snyder here. It's June the 22nd, 2013. And I just want to point out an interesting place that I visited. Oh, it's probably been close to a year ago. I don't know. Yeah, about a year ago. I visited this area. If you live in the Bay Area and you've never been to these mountains right here, it's just outside of Livermore. This is an interesting, very interesting, geologically, and everything else, just a beautiful place that's just like a hidden area from... I never really knew it existed until that time I went there. I went to go look at some boats out here. This guy's got some boats out here, just a big pile of boats right out here somewhere. And uh, drove all the way down this old road, this road called Old Mines Road. And it's right outside of Livermore, which is right over here somewhere. You get on the freeway and you get off on some exit, take you right up here somewhere, and you go down Old Mines Road. And if you go out, if you're going to go check this area out, which a lot of people do, it's it's like a driving road, you know, people that have, you know, convertible or sporty car, it's one of them roads, you know, that you want to, and there's bicycle riders that ride that, that road, so you got to be careful when you go down there, and if you go out there, make sure you've got gas, make sure you've got something to drink, and some extra food, because it, cell phones don't work out there, and once you're out there, there's nothing nothing out there. There's a few properties, but most people don't live out there. There's, a, You know, some people do live out there, but it seems like most people that have property out there don't live, they don't live there. There's nothing out there. Just it's, But it's an awesome drive. I'd recommend like early spring so when you, you can see the water, you know, if, in the stream and probably some flowers and whatnot, maybe. But uh, they got Copernicus Peak, which is right over here. Turn the borders and stuff on. There's Santa, Santa Clara County, San Jose is down here. So if you live in San Jose, you could try. You probably already know about it anyway. But if you if you don't, uh, these mountains are awesome up here. You got Copernicus Peak right there, and you got Mount Hamilton right there. And and really, I never I hadn't been in this this area over here. I was pretty much in this area over here, which is pretty cool. Keep your eyes open for this one hill on the side of the road. It's got this. It looks like a bunch of gravel coming down the side of a mountain that's like obsidian, black obsidian rock that comes down. It's, I can't find it on Google Earth, but I, I'm going to go stop by there next time I go out there. i got to check that out. But it's very, very cool place. Very cool. If you could find someone to let you, you know, take a hike on their property or something, because it's all private property pretty much. And uh, very, very cool place to visit. So if you're in any of these, these areas and never been there, I would check it out. It's worth it. Just take a drive. It takes about, I don't know, a half an hour, about 45 minutes to an hour, I guess, if you're just cruising from what from here to there. It's a pretty, pretty good drive. Once you're out there, you, like I said, there's no stores, no gas stations, anywhere from at least this point all the way across. And you could go into San Jose or something if you had to, but I'm just, I came from the North Bay up here, so. Or the East Bay or whatever you call it. So I just wanted to point that out. Very interesting. There's streams and stuff all up in here. There's like nobody that lives in a lot of these areas. There's people that do live in these, some of these areas, like right, right, right around here, but look at all these tailing ponds and stuff you see. That's one reason why I think it's a very interesting area called Old, Old Mines Road, but I've looked up the history of the area for as far as mining and stuff like that, and what they say is that what they found is they had a, some kind of, uh, what's that stuff that's associated with the mercury or quicksilver, quicksilver mines, I think. They had one here, one that was one good one good mine in this area that was has some history to it, but I didn't find any history, any other history as far as gold or any of that. And I swear, these these areas right here look like they've been washed down, you know, pretty much. Or, or uh, what do they call that, land dredged? See how they are? It's just, I don't know, maybe that's natural. I don't know. It just looks strange, like they've been washed off or something. But I, I'm just looking with Google Earth. Because those are bigger areas than I think. But yeah, very interesting area. Look at this red... The, this iron rich soil down here I thought was pretty interesting very interesting this is the road I don't know how far
far I went. Let's see how far did I go? I think right here. No. I can find that dumb road. Yeah, there's all kinds of cool, cool uh, rock structures out here. I'd like to drive on top of that mountain. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Anyways, just want to point that out. Good place to visit. You know, if you find, just look online, you'll find other people that comment about it, and you'll find videos on the internet about it or on YouTube about it. And uh, you see what time, other, what times are good to go, what other, what other people pick as you know for a good time to go out there. So, anyways, that's it. Just want to point that out. Um, what else? Oh, Copernicus Peak. Copernicus Peak is right there. And right here, I always say Copernicus. The, the reason why there's, there was gold in California and why they call this the Mother Lode, why they call that the Mother Lode, I do believe has everything to do with Copernicus, which is right here. This is not, I just threw this up there, but that's, that's the mother load right there. That covers the whole mother load right there. And you see, as you, as I fade it in and out, it is a big circular shape. Look, right here. Big circle. Absolutely is a big circle. And I've taken really detailed images of Copernicus and put them there. I've made videos about it. And I put them there. Of course, you have to flip the picture over before you overlay it there. And it's a perfect fit. It's just absolutely perfect. Much. And this is this isn't perfect. I, the, this is like the peak of Copernicus right there. They, Copernicus has a peak itself, which I think it hits right here, somewhere like right here, right in this area here. See this? It's like this line. You'll see a peak on Copernicus. One of these areas here. This one. And this one. Yep. Check it out. So, anyways, yeah. You're check check out that picture again, Copernicus. Look at the blast pattern and everything. Look at Nevada and all that. That's, these are basically all the states that have the gold. Arizona, New Mexico down there. See that? And then I turned on the weather, not knowing how it was going to fit. And that showed, here's the radar, which basically confirmed to me, this is radar from the 25th of, of uh, or not the 25th, I keep saying that. Not from the 25th, it's from the 17th of June. This is old, old, outdated radar. They haven't updated the radar yet. But you see, it's the same shape as that black area, this this dark area. It's the same shape. Exactly, same shape. And then you got this up here. This radar just kind of curves around this crater up here. Fits pretty good. Thought that lined up pretty good. Out of you know, just coincidence. And you got this, all this pattern here that looks like it's the outer. Where the rays basically stop in Copernicus. I didn't see this is an edge of another like impact. Maybe this is the impact actually or something. I don't know. Maybe that's the impact. But this is involved. It looks like Imbrium, Merium, Imbrium on the moon. Larger than they say. Copernicus, obviously larger than, larger than they say. Just like all the other craters on the moon. Alright. Have a good supermoon. I'm going to see if I can get some pictures.